Hi, everybody. Today, we are going to do an activity together. And in this activity, there are gonna be a bunch of animals. Does anybody know a place where you can go visit animals and see them? The zoo, you're right. We are gonna to listen to a story called Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. Now friends, I don't have my book with me at my house. It's at school. So what we're gonna do instead is I found a video of the book and we're gonna listen to the book together. So first we're gonna listen to the book and then we're gonna play our activity, okay? So while we're listening to the story, Dear Zoo, I'm gonna need you to make sure that you look with your eyes and look at the pictures on the screen, okay? There's gonna be lots of animals that I need you to see. And also I need you to listen with your ears because you're gonna hear all the cool words and all the things they say about the animals. All right, so let's do the first part of our activity. Let's listen and watch the video. All right, friends, this is the first time I'm gonna do this with you, so give Miss Beth a minute, okay? First, I'm gonna share my screen with you, and then we are gonna listen. Here we go, listen to Dear Zoo. I wrote to the zoo, the who, the zoo. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. And what did you get? What did you get? They sent me an elephant. A what? An elephant. And did you keep him? He was too big. So I sent him back. So they sent me a giraffe. A what? A giraffe. And did you keep him? He was too tall. So I sent him back. So they sent me a lion. A what? A lion. And did you keep him? He was too fierce. So I sent him back. So they sent me a camel. A what? A camel. And did you keep him? He was too grumpy. So I sent him back. So they sent me a snake. A what? A snake. And did you keep him? He was too scary. So I sent him back. So they sent me a monkey. A what? A monkey. And did you keep him? He was too naughty. <laughs> so I sent him back. So they sent me a frog. A what? A frog. And did you keep him? He was too jumpy. So I sent him back. What happened next? So they thought very hard and sent me a puppy. A what? A puppy! <laughs> and what happened next? 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 <laughs> All right, friends, was that awesome? That was a really good story. Okay. So now it's our turn to play, okay? We are going to play an activity together. So I hope you remembered all those animals. Now, do I have a zoo in my house? Even though sometimes it feels like it, I do not have these animals. So what I did was I went around my house and I found some stuffed animals. So I'm gonna use a stuffed animals and I'm gonna use a box. 
Okay, so if you have stuffed animals at your house and you have an empty box like this, we can play this game together, all right? Or you can build it by yourself when we're done. All right, so the first thing we do is we have a crate, right? Where did the animals come from? They came from the zoo, yeah. So the little boy asked for the zoo to send him an animal. Does anybody remember the first animal that they sent him? Anybody remember? Think, think, think. Remember you saw it with your eyes? Let's see. Here's my crate from the zoo. What did they send? They sent Dan. Who is this? Who is this? Drop the crate, friends. It's an elephant, yeah. They sent the boy an elephant. Did he keep the elephant? No, no, he didn't keep the elephant because the elephant was too, what was the elephant? He was too big. Yeah, the elephant was too big. He sent him back. All right, go back elephants. All right. So then the boy wrote to the zoo again. And this time, does anybody remember what the zoo sent him? Hmm. Let's see, here's our crates from the zoo. Let's open it up. What did the zoo send us? The zoo sent us a what? What's he called? A giraffe. You're right, he sent a giraffe. And look. He, did he keep the giraffe? Yes or no? No, he didn't keep the giraffe because the giraffe was too tall. The giraffe's neck was too tall. It probably wouldn't fit in his house, friends. So gotta go back, Mr. Giraffe, back to the zoo. All right, so he wrote again to the zoo. Does anybody remember what animal? What animal came from the zoo next? Ooh, everybody knows this animal. This animal says, Rah. anybody know? All right, let's open our crate. Let's see, it was a lion. You're right, friends. The zoo sent the boy a lion. Did he keep the lion this time? Did he keep him? No, you're right. No, he didn't keep the lion. Why didn't he keep the lion? Does anybody remember? Oh, he was too fierce. Fierce means strong sometimes. He didn't want to keep him in his house. Would a, would a lion make a really good pet though, friends? No, sorry, Mr. Lion, you're going back to the zoo. All right, so then the boy wrote to the zoo again. I wonder what he sent. Let's see. Anybody remember? Are you thinking about it? Yeah, do you remember? This one's kind of a, a word, or maybe an animal we don't think of all the time. Let's open our crate and find out. They sent a camel. They sent the camel, look, he's got his hump. Did he keep the camel? Did he keep him? Did he keep the camel, friends? What do you think, yes or no? Did he keep this camel? No, he didn't keep the camel either. He didn't keep the camel because he was too what? Grumpy. Everybody show me your grumpy face. Mm. Do we like it? Do we like to be grumpy all the time? Do we like to be around grumpy things? No, we want happy things. Show me happy. Yeah, big smiles. All right, Mr. Camel, you're too grumpy. We got to send you back to the zoo. All right, were there more animals, friends? Yes, there were more animals. Okay, does anybody remember what animal came next? This animal kind of slithers on the ground. Does anybody remember what animal slithers on the ground? Let's see. Let's open up our crate. Ready? Who is this? What animal is this? A snake. Ah, did he keep the snake? No, why not? He was too what? Scary. Ah, and friends, guess what? I'm kind of scared of snakes too. I'm glad they sent him back to the zoo. I would not want a snake in my house. Okay. Ah, 
So did we find our pet yet? Not yet. All right, gotta keep writing to the zoo. All right, does anybody remember what animal came next? This animal can be very silly and climb trees and eat bananas and says, oh, oh, ah, ah. what animal is that? A monkey, you're right. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Look at our cute little monkey. Oh, did he keep the monkey? No, you're right, you know, he was too silly. He was doing too many silly tricks at home. Sometimes you have to listen, monkey, right? Just like you, friends, you need to listen to your mommies and daddies, right? Everybody has to listen. All right, you're too silly, you gotta go back to the zoo. Okay, all right, we're gonna write to the zoo one more time. I wonder what he's gonna send us this time. All right, so this animal can hop really, really high. He hops really, really high, and he says, rub it, rub it, and he can catch flies with his tongue. Who is it? Do you remember? It is, it's the frog. Rub it. Did he keep the frog though? Nope, you're right. What did he tell? What did he tell the frog? He said, you gotta go back, Mr. Frog. All right, we still didn't find our animal pet. Ugh. So, can we write to the zoo one more time, friends? All right, let's write to the zoo one more time. Let's practice, let's pretend, let's take our hand, let's write to the zoo and say, please send us a pet. All right, so the zoo sent back a crate. I wonder who's in the crate this time. Does anybody remember who was at the end of our story? The last animal that the zoo sent? Do you remember? Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Who is it? Who did they send? A puppy or a dog. You're right. The zoo sent us a puppy. Oh, can puppies be a good pet? Yeah. I think you'll be perfect, Mr. Puppy. Friends, ruff, 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 ruff. we found our pet and we had fun playing with our stuffed animals and remembering all the animals that the zoo sent us, just like in the story, Dear Zoo. So you played this awesome game with me. I like how you were answering my questions. I know everybody did a great job using their words. So what I want you to do is maybe play this game again. Go around and find some stuffed animals in your house. Maybe you can find a box. Miss Beth just threw some lines on there with a dry erase marker. Or if you don't have one, you can just pretend. You can use pillows, you can do anything. So pretend that you're riding to the zoo and see what animals they'll send you. And you know what else is kind of fun, friends? I wonder if you got to really, really, really write a letter to the zoo, what kind of pet you would want them to send you? Would you want that slithery snake in your house or that fierce lion? Or would you just settle for a cool puppy like this? Okay, so friends, have fun listening to our activity on the computer. I had tons of fun with you. I hope you had fun too. If you have any questions, let your mommies or daddies or nannies, anybody know, and they can send me an email, okay? All right, friends, see you later. Bye.